Okay, here's a practice question. Consider the quadratic x squared plus 3x minus 10. First of all, show that putting in x equals 2 makes this expression give 0. And then secondly, then confirm the factor theorem. That is, show that actually x minus 2 then is a factor of x squared plus 3x minus 10. That you can rewrite x squared plus 3x minus 10 as a multiple of x minus 2. Give it a try, and I'll actually show you my work too right afterwards. Okay, so let's verify the factor theorem for this particular quadratic. Part A. Putting in x equals 2, what do I get? I'll get 2 squared is 4, plus 3 times 2 is 6, minus 10, and lo and behold, that indeed gives 0. So that shows me when I try to write this as a multiple of x minus 2, I should have 0 error. All right, let's see. So let me write this as a multiple of x minus 2. So I've got x squared plus 3x minus 10. First term, it's a multiple of x, that's for sure, and the rest of it, 3x plus uh, minus 10, but I want a multiple of x minus 2. Minus 2, oops, I've just been off by minus 2x, counteract with a positive 2x. So this is really x times x minus 2 plus 5x minus 10. All right, that 5x is a multiple of x, but I want a multiple of x minus 2. Let's make it happen. x minus 2 plus 5 times x minus 2, 5x, yep, but I've introduced negative 10. I'd better counter it with, counteract it with a positive 10, but I had a negative 10 all along floating around. So actually, 10 and negative 10 cancel, and yes, I've got x times x minus 2 plus 5 times x minus 2. Yes, it's a multiple of x minus 2. I've actually seen bad technique. It is equal to x minus 2 times an x plus a 5. Wow, I've just factored it. Wow, in fact, I've written, this, I've written this expression as an unsymmetrical rectangle. This is grand. So if you can find a place which gives you zero, then you've got one of the factors, and then off you go. You can actually use this technique to work out what that rectangle has to be, how to factorize it. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Let's carry on. All right, here's a question. Convince me that x cubed minus 27 is actually a multiple of x minus 3. How would you do that? Think about it, pause the video, and I'll give you my answer next. Alright, alright, by the factor theorem, if we can show that x equals 3 makes this expression 0, then I know that x minus 3 would be a factor of this expression. In fact, putting in x equals 3 gives me 27 minus 27 is 0. Therefore, by the factor theorem, yes, this must be a multiple of x minus 3. That is, x cubed minus 27 must be x minus 3 times something. Which is beautiful, because now I can actually answer a question I posed on the last video, and I left it hanging. Because I asked back then, is 2 to the 300th power minus 27 prime or composite? Turns out it's composite, and we can see that now. Because 2 to the 300th is really 2 to the 100th cubed minus 27. And look at that. We just showed that x cubed minus 27 is a multiple of x minus 3. There it is, it's x minus 3 times something, and now my x is 2 to the 100th power, so by what we just proved here, this equals 2 to the 100th minus 3 times something, and therefore it's not prime, it actually factors. Beautiful. In fact, we're now doing a difference formula. I've just done the difference of two cube numbers. Two cube numbers. Here it goes. I can be much more general. Instead of doing 27, which is 3 cubed, I'll do a cubed. And I claim this is a multiple of x minus a. And of course it is, because I put in x equals a into this formula, I'll get a cubed, take away a cubed is 0. Which means it's a multiple of x minus a with 0 error. It's a multiple of x minus a. So this proves that x cubed minus a cubed is x minus a times something. Done. Now, if you want to actually know what the something is, we can work it out. In fact, some books might want you to memorize this formula. I don't know why, but okay. This is usually good enough for me. Just know it's x minus a times something. 
but let's work out the something now just for fun. In fact, we'll do exactly the same thing. x cubed minus a cubed. I want this to be a multiple of x minus a, so I'll do each part in turn. This x cubed part is at least a multiple of x. Not necessarily x minus a, but at least a multiple of x. It's actually x squared times x, and it's still a minus a cubed. I really want x minus a. Okay, I'll make x minus a. X, to, x squared times x, x cubed, but I've introduced negative a x squared. So I better counteract that with positive a x squared. All right, let's keep going. x squared times x minus a. And let me focus on a x squared. At least there's a multiple of x. It's actually a x times x. And then I've still got a minus a cubed over here. But I don't want a multiple of x. I want a multiple of x minus a. So let's make it a multiple of x minus a. There it is. a x times x is a x squared. But I've introduced negative a squared x. So I better counteract that by adding an a squared x. So far so good. Let me keep going. So now I've got x squared times x minus a plus ax times x minus a plus a squared x, which is a multiple of x. It's a squared times x, and it's still a multiple of a negative a cubed on the end. But I want x minus a, not just an x. So there's a squared x, bingo, but I've just now introduced a negative a cubed. Bother. So I better add in a positive a cubed to counteract that. But look, the positive a cubed and the a cubed, the negative a cubed here cancel out. Oh, So actually, I can see it is an exact multiple of x minus a, as we knew it had to be. In fact, it's this. It's x minus a times x squared plus ax plus a squared. Bingo. There is the general difference of two cubes formula. If you need to memorize that for your curriculum, I guess you have to memorize it. Um, I just like that much. That's all I, all I ever really use as a mathematician, and that's kind of cool. In fact, I bet you can now, exercise for you, change this to a plus sign, and change that to a plus sign, and I think you're okay. Because this is x minus negative a. And putting negative a in here gives me negative a cubed plus a cubed, zero x cubed plus a cubed is indeed a multiple of x plus a by the factor theorem. So x cubed plus a cubed does equal x plus a times something. And maybe your curriculum needs you to know what the something is. So then the challenge for you is, what is the something? Do this work for the plus sign everywhere instead. And what do you get for the something in this case? So there's the difference of two squares formula from last time, the difference of two cubes formula from now, and we've also got the sum of two cubes formula right now. Often in a curriculum, sometimes not, sometimes is, but we can do it all now. It's just fabulous.